Kalias from Kreatives Leben and today I have a very special book that I would like to present to you. This is my animal art journal and it's magical animals because these are animals that might not exist. For example this little birdie with his long feather tail and this little turquoise here. So let me tell you a little bit while I flip through uh, my my book. Let me tell you a little bit about this book. So for example you can see this page has a lot of structure and I have collaged um, this very whimsical birdie on it. It's a watercolor birdie that I, I did and basically this is a page that I created myself. So it's it's a I, I <laughs> created, yeah, it, it, that's the only way I can explain it. I put some sisal in here and um, that's why it's very structured and that's why I didn't paint on top of it. And here I have a little um, doggy that I painted also. And let me tell you a little bit about this book while I flip through it. Basically this is a book that I created in Mexico together um, well, by myself, but with a very major help by Carla Sonheim. I don't know if you know Carla Sonheim. I really love her art. She is, uh, she has a very um, unique style, very, um, I, I wanted to say simple, but simple uh, would not do it credit. credit. It looks very simple, but it's minimalistic. I think that's the better word than simple. It looks very simple, but it is not so simple. I try to emulate many of the things she's, she does, but I'm far away from whatever she does. So for example, this is a little exercise. So this is my bear, this is my cow. So it's a cow bear, not a cowboy, a cow bear. So this is a classical um, uh, frog. Uh, so, you know, some are very classic animals that I've created and some are more whimsical like this dog with his flappy ears. I really love this this flappy ears and let me tell you a little bit so I went to Mexico and here I stitched also um, and I bought this little yeah I don't know a little purse uh, that was created by indigenous um, Mayan uh, women and I really love this so this is why I wanted to have it in my book and this was a trip organized by Bellissima, Bellissima Art Escapes, um, which is the company of Kathy Benazzi. And I really love, um, you know, the way it was set up. Basically, everything was organized and I just had to enjoy myself, which I did. Obviously, you can see this here and create. And also we had some time for sightseeing and meeting wonderful people. Uh, that I already miss uh, being back here now in cold Germany. So here, um, this is my, you will see what I love about this book. It's bo a book that I bind it there and there is, there are other little books in there that I created there. And um, this one I, I really find funny. This, this is a fox and this is my whale fish that I created. So um, yeah, this is a little booklet that I like. And, um, you know, I have some pages where you might think, well, that's not very exciting. My husband said, you know, you've done better things, but it's also a lot about the memory. And for me, the purpose, so let me show you this little cat. Can you see this little cat? Huh? These are his eyes, ears, <laughs> and his mustache. I really love this little cat. And this is also a paper I created. So um, during the uh, 10 days that I spent in Mexico, we had one day where we created our own paper with paper pulk and I put some red dots in there and I've made little butterflies out of it. So I really love this page. Um, here I have a little flap with another little bit whimsical booklet with here. So this is San Cristobal. This is the city in uh, Mexico where I was and here I have little llamas and then I have lions and then an, an eagle, no not an eagle, um, in German it would be an eagle but it's not an eagle, it's not a porcupine, well it could be a porcupine, let's call him a porcupine and a snake and a little um, mouse with a little Butterfly. So very different stuff that I did here. I created uh, a little 
birdie that I cut out out of uh, different papers that we made or that I bought on site, that I brought on site. This is another one of my watercolor animals and I really love them. They are like whimsical, um, yeah, you know, out of the box little animals that might exist, not, ma not exist. It's magical animals basically. And this one is also one that I like. It's my little cows behind their little fringe of grass. And um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I really enjoy looking at this book because of the memories mainly. And this is a, I don't know, crocodile type. This is a little dog. I don't have a dog, but I like dogs a lot. So that's why probably we'll see a few of them. And this is a little uh, dinosaur. And you might have seen him already because I did another art journal page with my dinosaur. This is my background. So this is a, notch, uh, a tissue paper with little dinosaurs on it. And I copied this form because I really like him. And I have included pages that I bought there um, that, yeah, that are part of the memories that I have. This is a a tape animal, tape giraffe. Here I have another animal, whimsical animal. So this is my little uh, bird. And if you turn him or her around, you can see his tail with, with, with beads. I did a lot with beads. I will show you more later when I finish going through. And here I have a pocket. Um, I don't like the animals so much that are here, but I uh, I wanted to create a little book. So this is one of the papers that um, I didn't make that one, but that I received on site and I took papers that I had. Oh, wrong way. Uh, and just collaged them in there. I, I collaged my little animals. So that would be, I don't know, a dinosaur or a crocodile, a flying crocodile. As I said, magical animals. And who knows, so this is a fox, obviously not that magical. A dodo, maybe? Another dog, another doggy. This I did with, um, I think I did this with my jelly, or not, not with mine, but with a jelly plate. Um, so that's also a funny little bunny. And I'm sure I will continue doing something into that book because that's far too empty for my taste. I need more, more, more. Um, I like this animal, so this is one of the papers I either did myself or I uh, bought there. And this is a tape cow, I guess, a tape cow. So yeah, I love this one. I love the beads here, not so much my little duck. Um, I love this vulture, I guess it's a vulture. So there are lots of little animals that come up and this is more out of what I bought there. Uh, this is something we received, so it's a very important memory that I want to keep in there. My little llamas. Here, another llama. And here is another pocket with this very mean person, whatever that animal is. And these, if you don't know Carla, this is um, Carla's art. Carla Sonheim has a very, as I said, unique style, um, whimsical style, and that gives you an idea of what she does. I really love what she does. She works a lot with surprises, creating surprises, opportunities, with cracks in the wall. So we did amazing things. So many animals that I created here are not from my head, but based on exercises we did with her. So this is, you know, little birdie also that she gave her us. So this is, yeah, so this is from her. Very important. Don't want to lose this one. And I love this. So this is a normal um, a scrapbook paper that I did. I folded it and then I put my little fish in there because of, of course we need fish in the water. But I also added here a little snake. And I live on a lake and we have water snakes. And I'm used to them. I find it funny. I mean, they're so scared of us. They go far away as soon as we arrive. Uh, but most of my friends who visit me don't like them. But I wanted to put them in here. So, um, And here, this is another animal I really like. I have a cat, a black cat. So that could be him. He's called Blackie. Not my idea, my daughter's idea. But that's another story. Um, so here, that's the back of my cat. This is the front of my cat. And then if you turn him around, that's my wallfish. And the little, little one. Isn't he cute? 
I really love this page. And the background, I wasn't too fond at the beginning, so that's also something that I learned from, um, from Carla, how to create this background. But right now, meanwhile, I really like the background because it's very different and unexpected, so I probably try to mimic that again. This is also a page I really like. So just to be clear, my husband said, oh, another big bear. This is not a bear. This is a cheetah. It's a baby cheetah. And I think you can see it's a baby cheetah if you want. And I, um, this is again one of the ideas of Carla. I took a wood burning tool and um, I burned the paper. And that's what, what happened. And I really, really love what happened. I really love that page. Um, yeah, you know, I, I'm not fond of every page, but for me it was a lot about creating. Uh, it was also a reflection of the time I was in. I was a bit stressed, but it was also about getting new ideas, bring home as many ideas as possible. And this one I really like. So I like first the background, as I don't know if you can see that it's pink, it's black, it's white, it's uh, yellow, uh, the paper is red, so I love that. And I draw a little lamb. I'm not sure you can recognize it. I can recognize it. But um, what I really found funny, and I don't know, it's my kind of humor, I guess, is that it says cow and bull, and it's definitely not a cow and not a bull. But that's me. And this is another wood burning page that I created, which is um, on watercolor paper. So I burned my holes, I burned the, the fish, and then I watercolored it. And I really love the effect, so I think that's a nice page. And what I also want to show you, let me see if we can focus, focus, yes, I think it's focused. Um, many beads, uh, many strings, and I really love that. Um, it's a way of binding that enables you to add pages, so I will be doing that. And I have just put this lock because I felt, because I haven't used same size paper, which is okay, you know, you don't need to have a, a journal with the same sizes. Uh, I felt that um, it would need some some structure here. So that's why I've added here, and I love that I have a few beads coming out, and I have here uh, the feather. Oh, I've lost the feather. I need to put this back. Oh, okay, I will have to put this back. Um, yeah, so this is my uh, magic magical animals art journal. I hope you enjoyed this flip through, uh, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. And I promise I will be coming back to you very soon and with more to see. Bye bye, take care.